it feels surreal in many ways. Um, I love books, you know, I love to read and just seeing it exist, whether I'm like going through an airport or what have you, is, is kind of a trip, quite frankly. Um, and it, the, the really the most beautiful part it has been is, is some of the feedback I've gotten that's been incredi incredible uh, and meaningful. Um, and like a friend who's also trans mask texting and saying, my mom just read it in two days and we've gotten now to have conversations that I never thought we'd get to have. And those are the moments that just mean the world to me because setting out to write something like this that does sort of, you're, you're hoping that that is a, a part of the outcome, that potentially it, by sharing your story, it could help in some way, I suppose. It's uh, Victor. Who's Victor? I am. It's who I've always been. For me, it is an interesting mixture of feeling by far the best I've ever felt, the most embodied I've ever felt, confident, all of those things. And I'd be lying if, it, if, if, if I didn't acknowledge that, of course, that sometimes it can be overwhelming um, right now. Um, but, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And if anything, that only, you know, motivates me more to to use my platform um, in regards to sharing my story or speaking to the various issues or how my healthcare has helped me, for example. Um, and the reality is, is the fact that I am a visible person, the things that come with that do involve the resources and the privilege that allows me to access such care and, and now have this life that I have.